<laughs> Maybe after you go. Oh, last time we got caught in the showers. Uh, <laughs> yes. I remember being soaked. Okay. So basically, this is this plant is called the mimosa plant. Wow. Uh, yes, don't no. Yeah. This plant is called the mimosa plant, and some we Africans have different way of recording whatever transpired in history. We have many many ways of documentation. And this plant basically talks about the life of Africans before, during, and after slavery. Mm. The big question that I always ask my brothers is, or sisters, what kind of life was African living before these people came to us and started committing this kind of crime in our royal? Yes. You see, you see how this plant is open. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that was. That is how Afri we were living our lives as Africans. We were warriors, we were hunters, we were farmers, we were traditional healers, we were artisans, we were writers, we were thinkers. All the profession that you could think of, we were having some in Africa. It is through initiation that we become the students of the universe. That is where we learn the herbs that you can use to cure some disease. It is with that that we learn how the ants, we monitor the activities of ants on maybe while on the hill or many things. It is with that that people know how to heal people with just their casting their ants on those people. We knew many things. Although we weren't perfect, we were excellent because we were in our own. Yes. We were having all sorts of spirit conceivables. We we're having the, the good, we we're having the bad. We are having the ugly. We are having people who rejoice at the expense of others. We are having all the bad people you could also think of, but we were still at home. Now, when they came in, when they touched us, uh -huh. we stringed. So like this, they touched uh -huh. us. Yep. Then we stringed. Uh -huh. We were very scared. We were isolated. We started running from our shadow. People even started calling for death to come and take them. We were even living in caves and mountains, the, the natural habitat for wild reptiles and animals. We were living there with them because they touched us. Mm. Now, it is up to the plant to open again. That is where I need all you on board. You see, when you come here and you give me money, you've, you've given me nothing. Because money is something that I may enjoy today, and it will never be there tomorrow. But when you come and you impart wisdom and knowledge to me, you've given me a lot of things. That is why I said most of our brothers and sisters, all our best people were captured. And now you are our best people also. So I always tell you whenever you are coming on tour, try to talk to your tour agency to factor this thing in your itinerary. Maybe some of you are nurses, teachers, a lot of profession, because you are professionals. So, Please, can you, I'm a teacher, can you organize a place that I can meet with two school children and I can impart something to them? Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse, can you do something so I can meet with some patients and, tell, and educate them? It is with this that you are giving back to your society or your roots. So sometimes whenever you are traveling, you should try to factor those things in because it is very, very, very important. We need you and we need your expertise. So we're making our way through the ancestral roots. One minute, let me bring the thing.